Hello, I'm newsreader Carl and this is the Aaron and Carl Happy Report, May 2024. Now, I'm sorry, I, I'm looking at my monitors. I, I think we're going to the man cave and Aaron and Carl. I'm 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 not quite sure. Hello. Hello. I think that's Aaron. Are you Aaron? Yes. There's something very different about you. And that is one hundred percent sure, Carl, I hope. So, uh, yes, we got our five best things for May 2024. Yes. Um, I suppose we should get into it. Look uh, at the camera. Well, this... It, it's weirding me out a bit. Okay, right. Aaron, if that is your name, what was your first thing that you... Uh, your first best thing? For May two thousand twenty-four. So for May two thousand twenty-four is I went to see my friend Mark A. Wright, who is an Elvis impersonator slash tribute act. Uh, do the sixty-eight comeback special which the reason it's called a special is because it was the first concert Elvis did since he came back from doing all the movies uh, what was the best bit of the show it was me singing G.I. Blues with uh, Mark. chance I highly recommend you go in and see him uh, so yeah that was my first best thing what was yours Hal? but my first best thing dude look at the camera all right I'll try and look at the camera my first best thing was uh, that a friend and I Ben have been working on our Laurel and Hardy tribute, uh, another fine mess productions, and uh, we've been practicing, getting ready for, for for performing at Glastonbury in the Green Kids Field, and we filmed part of our routine in a nice bit of countryside outside Lewis, uh, which has uh, turned out very nice. <laughs> second best thing for May 2024 is filming the mechanic part for our uh, film we're making. Yeah, where did we film it? We filmed it at my friend's uh, car lot or yard, uh, BB Cars, um, he let us work on the car, which was fantastic. Hello, Aaron Zord Repairs. 
So I just want to say thank you to Ike and Tony. Um, so thank you for letting us do that. And um, the film's coming soon, guys. Yeah, we've just got a few bits of tweaking and editing to do. Yes. But it was a good good afternoon of filming, wasn't it? Yeah, and it was a nice day as yeah. well. A bit windy. A bit windy, but... But it was nice. Yes. My second thing was, in fact, the other week when I was coming here, <coughs> I saw a train with lots of graffiti on it. There was a freight train, and I always get very excited when I see trains with graffiti on it. And I filmed it, and the film was going to be eight minutes long, and I thought, oh, how am I going to make some eight minutes of music? And then I remembered, I've got a CD coming out soon which has got my music and friends' music on. So I put a bit of all their musics on and um, it's a little taster of the CD that's going to be coming out very soon. So my number three best thing was there's a local wrestling company, um, SWF and Kamau Wrestling. Uh, they did a show in Heath, which you came to with me, didn't you? Yeah. Well, um, which was a great show. Tell you what, though, the ceiling was very low. Yeah, it was quite low. Um, but I did the VIP, <laughs> met a bunch of the wrestlers, which was great fun. Um, got some autographs there. Yes, got some autographs. Um... But my favourite match was the match with the World Heavyweight Champion. Oh, yes, that would be Joshua James versus Rudy Root. Yes. Yeah, it was a great night. I really enjoyed it. So what was your third best thing, Hal? My third best thing is also wrestling related. I have made a little fanzine for Carlos Chaotico, which has sort of like some of the nice pictures that people have taken of Carlos Chaotico doing his thing. And uh, it's got an interview done by Magic Martin. And uh, yeah, so I'm quite, I'm quite pleased. It looks good. I'm going to be selling it at the next, next wrestling show that I'm at. So my number four best thing for May is burning one of my old duplicate Megazords for part of the film we're doing, Blow Up Bob. Um, now, there was lots of fire, there was lots and lots of smoke, there was firecrackers, and actually we were worried that someone was going to pull, pull the fire brigade on us. But it, it was great fun, um, and yeah it was great fun but i i just want to say don't try this at home even though you tried it at your home yes but what a hypocrite but 
it was super rise. <laughs> um, so yeah, what was your fourth best thing, pal? My fourth best thing was I went for a midweek trip <coughs> to London. Uh, we had a nice walk along from South Bank to the Tate uh, Modern and had a look in there. And then in the evening, we went to see a Mexican cumbia punk band called Son Rompe Pera. And it was... Uh, it was great fun. So my fifth and final thing for the best things of May is Getting back into the swing of doing my reviews. And as you guys know, all my reviews pretty much had to do with Power Rangers. So, but I will tell you what you get. You get, obviously, the civilian head, of which I love. Um, great to get back up and doing the reviews I really enjoy it and there's a lot more coming by the way guys so anyway what would your final best thing help my final thing is uh, for the last couple of months I've been working on an idea of um, a fanzine and a music project. So with this little fanzine, I have made these abstract ink images that I got friends to read as if it was music and for them to interpret what I'd done as music. And we've got lots of different styles of, of music on this, so like seven different artists. And then I've got each of the different musicians to make a page of how they made the music. And uh, there's all sorts going on with that. Uh, someone's made a, a, a word search, which is good. And um, yeah, it's turned out really well. So, that was our five best things, five crazy actions from May 2024. I think we better go back to the studio and newsreader Carl. Yes. Goodbye. Goodbye. It is amazing what they can do with toupee technology nowadays. You really had me fooled there for a moment, Aaron. Now over to someone who definitely doesn't wear a wig. Roving reporter Darren and his roving report. Hello, I'm roving reporter Darren. And I'm here at Capella Wrestling to do an interview with Hunky Dory. I do my interview with you. Yes. No, 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 no. I, I was, I was told I was, I was a beautiful woman who was going to interview me. Unfortunately, you've been lying. All right, just yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get on with this. Just get on with this. Hurry up, hurry up. I've got some girls waiting. So, I hear you are the rock star and the wrestling star. So. My first question is, why do you always come to the ring with your guitar but never get it out and play it? These people don't deserve to hear the guitar. So what do you do, just hit people with it? Sometimes, why do you want to turn? 
Do you want me to hit you with it? Go on. Is that what you're asking? Yeah, go on then. Yeah, right. <laughs> Don't want to break it. Um, well, I can't get on with it. Next question, next question. So my second question is... You don't have to say that bit, just say the next question. Okay. So, how many belts have you had? All of them, all of them. Next question. Have you won any um, discs for your rock and roll songs? You're, you're interviewing me, you've clearly done no research. You don't know about my best selling album. Alright, alright. Punky uh, Dory, the legend with three legs, went quadruple platinum. Punky Dory, my massive meaty manhood, went septuple diamond. I could go on and on and on and on and on. Just wrap this up, Roya. Come on. And my last question is what's your favourite wrestling movie you do? The Rockstar Albo. Every time I hit the Rockstar elbow, guarantee it wins the match. I've won every time I've hit it. Are you not stealing that from Gwen the Rock Johnson? I don't know who Gwen is, but and I'm, I'm sure whoever that is, if he does some kind of elbow, it's nowhere near as good as the Rockstar elbow. And if anything, he stole it from me. If you say so. I do, I do. The Rock! Whoa. So what is your favourite wrestling pose or rock and roll? No, this, this is stupid. I'm done. Interview's over. Waste of my time. Sorry guys, he's just got in a bit of a strop and walked off. So that's the end of this round. Back to Nudri the Carl. A fascinating report from roving reporter Darren there. And what a thoroughly unlikable man that wrestler was. And a pop star as well. Some people just have it served to them, don't they? But I will never buy a hunky-dory CD. I will never, ever get a hunky-dory CD. And on that bombshell... We'll say goodbye. We'll be seeing you next month on the Aaron and Carl Happy Report. Goodbye. (laughs) 